Welcome back to the channel. We're in Negril, Jamaica at the Rio Hotel, and I'm here to help you understand if staying here is worth your time and your money. So without further ado, let's get started. Rio Negril is about maybe an hour and a half from the nearest airport, which is Montego Bay Airport. And your best way to get here is gonna be the charter bus, which is gonna run you about $50 per person one way. This is what the front of the hotel looks like. I'm gonna pan the camera around so you can see exactly what it is. And it's an open entrance. What that means is that, you know, it's all the, you know, there's no doors. So the wind just blows through. So it's very nice and very eerie. As you can see, it's quite beautiful, beautiful colors. It's a nice, beautiful entrance. It's usually not this full. The lobby is pretty empty, but today is check-in day. So this is what you're probably gonna find when you get here for the first time. Now, when you first get to the hotel, you'll see that it has an open floor plan. That means there's no doors. It's always perfect weather in Jamaica. We're here in the middle of winter. And as you can see, it's about 80 degrees. It's on the west coast of Jamaica and it's on the island's longest beach. It has 420 rooms, three outdoor pools and a children's pool. We tour the entire facility, give you the full understanding of what it's like to stay here. Now here is my big pro tip to you. Bring a backpack with your important gear and a change of clothes. That's because when you get to the hotel, they'll have a space where you can put all your luggage and then you can walk around the hotel. What that means is that if your room is ready at four in the afternoon, however you get there at eight o'clock in the morning, you can enjoy everything the hotel has to offer all the way up until your room is ready. So you can have a full eight hours at the hotel if you have your stuff with you that you need. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go through your suitcase and unpack and go through all that, you know, you don't wanna do that. Also, there's a change in area. This is it right here. You're looking at it right now and it has a full bathroom area. You can go in, close the door. You can change, put your swimsuit on, go to the beach, enjoy the amenities that the hotel has to offer. So definitely, 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 you know, bring a change of clothes. Cause who knows, you may get there and your room's not ready and you wanna be able to, you know, enjoy the hotel and not be like these guys walking around with your luggage. In case you weren't aware, this is a five-star hotel. That means my expectations are going to be really sky high. And when we were there, it was not entirely full, but it was near full capacity. And as far as cash, you really don't need cash. There's a way you can exchange cash at the front desk, but unless you plan to leave the hotel, cash is absolutely not necessary. Some of the really massive hotels have trolley or tram systems that get you from point A to point B, but not this hotel. It's big, but it's not that big. So the only way you're gonna be able to get around is going to be the Shoe Leather Express. You're gonna have to walk it from end to end, which is not that bad. It's not very complicated. Now, the first time you get there, you're gonna need a little help as far as finding your room and understanding how the layout is, but it's pretty much a straight shot. And if you get lost, they have these signs right here to help you understand where you are and where you need to go. One of the things I found disappointing was I wasn't really that impressed with how the buildings were designed. They didn't look that appealing to me. I think there's a lot more design that they could have done to make it look better. But let's go into one of the bedrooms and take a look and see what you can expect from that. This is just gonna be a quick room tour. Most of the rooms in the hotel look like this. And as you can see, there are wood furnishings. Uh, the bed I felt was very comfortable. The room was very spacious. We didn't spend a lot of time in here just because the hotel had so much to offer. But as you can see, it's pretty much a typical hotel room. As we move into the bathroom area, again, I thought pretty nice. A lot of granite and tile all around, very clean, very spacious. Uh, one of the things I liked about the room was that all the alcohol in the room was included. You know, I was expecting to pay for that. Again, five-star resort, all-inclusive, so that was great. Now, we did get a free upgrade where we got a ocean view room. We initially didn't book one, but it had a view of the pool and pretty nice so far. One of the things I would recommend you do is bring a credit card that's not functioning because you can leave it in here without the credit card or that room key, the AC or the lights in the room do not work. The biggest drawback from the room was that there was not a lot of plugs nor were they USB ports that were readily easily available. That's the only drawback really that I have for the room. Now we just stepped a little bit away from the main lobby and right now we are at the adult pool area. They do have a children's pool area and another mixed pool area, but this is the heart and center of the hotel and they really do keep it just adult. You see there is a bar beneath um, that overhang right there and it is an absolute beautiful uh, area to just be in. You see in the distance they have the kids pool. We'll take a close look at that a little bit later, but this is what the center part of the hotel looks like. 
Now, as far as the adult pool is concerned, it's not very deep. We're talking about maybe four and a half, five feet of water, and it's usually pretty full. So you're not gonna go there and be able to do laps or anything like that. Maybe early in the morning or late at night, yes, but for the most part, this pool right here is pretty full. Also, it's fairly noisy. What I mean by that is they usually play a lot of loud music there, and also, if they're gonna have some kind of band concert or some kind of entertainment, it's usually happening here, so it's a pretty, uh, you know, loud, lively pool, not the place where you want to get away and just have maybe a quiet experience. There's another pool and I'll take you there and show you what that's all about. But this pretty much is what your experience is going to be like at the adult pool. Now, when it comes to finding a chair at the adult pool, get one of those chairs that are really close. You got to get there pretty early in the morning and reserve it. The towels, you get they get a towel per room and don't lose that room key towel because that's an extra $50 charge. Something I found that was kind of strange and I was kind of surprised that they didn't have a hot tub area, which is, if you're looking for that, you're not gonna find it. The folks who are in charge of entertainment do a fairly good job. They're doing a little dance routine here to just kind of get you in the mood. It's in the middle of the day. And again, the music is not very loud on this video, but believe you me, it is very loud. So I'm gonna kill the music just so you can see a little bit of the entertainment. <laughs> In addition to the shows that they put on and the dance routines that they do, there are competitions that they do for the guests. And this is kind of entertaining and it's kind of fun. A lot of these people are, you know, drunk. So the show, it's pretty funny, but it's really uh, quite, uh, quite entertaining. What you're looking at right now is the family pool here. I label it as kids pool, and that's because mostly the kids are here. Our families are here. This is a, an, um, it's not an adult um, resort. It's uh, for single people, uh, couples, and families. So you're gonna find a lot of kids here, but it was mostly for the most part adults. Now this is the third pool, which is a mixed use pool area. Again, both for children and adults. One of the things I like about this pool is that it is quiet. There's no DJs, there's no dancing bands or singing or anything like that. It, it was pretty, pretty tranquil. So if you like that kind of environment, then you're gonna enjoy this pool. And I particularly liked it because it was right outside my room door. Now, in addition to young kids being there, there were also very small children, babies even. And there is this children's pool area. Now, this pool area is really just for the kids. What I really liked about this was that if you had a baby or a toddler, you didn't have to worry about them, you know, playing with other kids who are a bit maybe rougher. And also, you could keep an easy eye on them and they had their own pool area. That water was not very deep at all, so it was a little chance of them drowning or getting into difficulties in that area. Again, if you lose a towel, it's an extra 50 dollars per towel. The number one selling feature for all hotels in Jamaica is this, what you're looking at right here, and it is the beach. The water is warm, it is crystal clear, the sand is white. As you look out, you're looking at Bloody Bay, which is the bay that surrounds the hotel. So one of the things that you will enjoy about staying at this hotel is that no matter what room you stay in, you're literally steps away from the beach. Now, this beach, in my opinion, Bloody Bay, not as good as Seven Mile Beach. It's actually a part of Seven Mile Beach, but if you go to the south, Seven Mile Beach um, is, in my opinion, a better beach than what you're looking at right here. The beach here is fairly pristine pretty much all the time. The, the, I'm gonna show you the next clip right here. This is the dirtiest you'll ever find the beach. And this is actually just off Rio property. You can see it, it wraps all the way around. This is part of the Seven Mile Beach area. And um, when it comes to beach chairs, I found that there to be plentiful. And what I liked is that the different variety, you can find a little, a little nook you know, underneath some trees. But for the most part, there wasn't a big fight over the chairs. You could get a chair right next to the beach and if you like the solitude, you can go all the way to the other end of the hotel. And pretty much, there wasn't any, uh, it's very quiet. You can just sit here all day and just look out and enjoy fantastic views, enjoy a wonderful sun and look at pristine, 
uh, crystal clear water. Uh, and also, it just gives you the, the multitude of opportunities to enjoy the beach on a variety of level. A little bit closer towards the center, it's gonna be a lot more busier, uh, but look at all this empty chair. And this is in the middle of the day, and most of these chairs that look like there's no one there, there's no towels on the chairs, they're empty. So this is one of the things I really enjoyed about the hotel, is just the massive avail availability of seating. Looking at this image right here, you can see that it is a great beach location with views all across the bay. Now, if you're interested in you know, watching the sunset, it is a bit obstructed because it is in a bay area. Uh, an occasion there are sand flies in the evening, but when we were there, there were hardly any problems at all. Now, you can go snorkeling right off the shore. It's that good of a beach. Um, there's not a lot. There's not any waves though. At times, you can have storms that come in that provide a lot of waves, but for the most part, it's pretty calm and tranquil. You're not going to see any waves at all. Now. I I wish that they had, you know, dragged the area because there are patches of seagrass in um, in the water. But you know, other than that, it's it's a safe beach. I didn't see any security guards out there. Uh, there were no umbrellas uh, on the beach, and uh, but there are shade underneath the trees, and there is a bar as well as a jerk hut on the beach. So all this made it really a fantastic experience. Had a phenomenal time here on the beach. We are just about halfway done. In the next segment, we're going to talk about food, dining experience, the shows, things to do, the staff, excursion, entertainment, shopping, and more. But just a little bit more about the beach. If you have young kids and you're concerned about them being in the water, there are lifeguards available. And I thought that was very good because I had my son there with me. So it was great knowing that I didn't have to necessarily focus on him the whole entire time. Also, if you bring a blow-up toy, that's a good idea because they don't supply any of the blow-up devices. So we did bring some of these type blow up devices so that's a good bet my biggest advice to you is make sure you bring a pump to blow it up with that can be done electronically with a battery there are these uh, cabanas didn't see them being used that much but they are available for folks who want to get that cabana type experience Now, one of the things that I found surprising was that there wasn't a lot of locals on the beach. Now, right next to the hotel is a, you know, an area that's not really owned by anyone. A lot of locals hang out, hang, hung, hung around there. But you'll see a locals on occasion hanging around, but you're not going to come across a lot of Jamaicans, not a lot of natives at all. They'll come and they'll kick the ball around and play. And if you want to buy some weed, they'll sell you that. But otherwise, you know, other than playing a guitar and just maybe trying to, you know, pick up women or what have you, there's not really a lot of local activity, so you're not going to have a lot of contact with native Jamaicans. Some people love that, some people don't. Now, one of the things I did like was the fact this guy right here, he came around every day and he offered fresh food um, and grilled lobster. And it was the absolute best lobster I've ever taken. Uh, every evening. It costs about $35 for a plate, a lobster, a fish, and like some fried dumplings, what have you, but it is absolutely out of this world. Another big reason why people come here is the food. It's an all-you-can-eat, all-inclusive resort. That means you can eat as much food as you want, as often as you want, and they serve food pretty much for the entire time that we were there all day all the time even into 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 the night so food is not going to be an issue now one of the things i really enjoyed was the variety uh, it doesn't matter what your dietary preference is you are going to find a lot I mean a lot of something that you will like, things that you will like. Um, and if you enjoy food, this is going to be the hotel for you because the sheer variety of food is out of this world. This is one of the things that really surprised me and blew my mind. I've been on a ton of cruise ships and they had far more variety than you would find on a cruise ship. Now this is mass produced food. So it's, you know, maybe not have that, you know, distinct restaurant individual quality that you would find in, in a a la carte type of uh, environment. But the food, in my opinion, was pretty outstanding. <music> 
As I mentioned earlier, you're gonna be very satisfied with the variety and quality of food that you'll find here at the Rio. For mass-produced food, it's, it, it's bar none the best that I've ever eaten. Also, you're gonna find local delicacies, Jamaican dishes uh, that are unique to Jamaica that you can try. And if you don't like it, the great thing about it is that you have so many options. This right here is lobster. That's a whole thing just of lobster. So it just gives you an idea of the degree of quality of food that you'll find here. You'll find lobster, fish, chicken, venice, you name it, you will find it and it will be done very well. There are about four specialty restaurants. The only challenge I would say here is that for the more popular ones, you have to make a reservation very early in advance. Like I would do that on day one. Just make sure you get a seat. Uh, but otherwise, I thought the restaurant quality was good, but I thought it was just about as good as the buffet. The only difference was the specialty restaurant kind of catered more towards the type of food that you were gonna eat. So if you were in an Asian restaurant, it had a lot more Asian food than say the buffet would. In addition to all the food uh, you can eat, all the alcohol on site is included in your price. So you don't have to pay any money for any type of drink that you order there. So the next quality is, what about the, you know, the, the quality of the alcohol, you know, the quality and the quantity, you know? So to give you uh, the rundown on that, you can order pretty much any drink you want. If you want a lot of alcohol in your drink, make sure you tell the bartender before that, hey, look, I want a lot of alcohol or, what have you, and they will they will put as much or as little in there as you absolutely want. So if you're a drinker, it has premium alcohol, you're not gonna find everything, but you'll find premium alcohol in a lot of different varieties and as much or as little as you want. Now let's talk about who you're likely to see here. Well, it is a family resort. That means they cater for you know young and old people and everything in between. And so you'll find a lot of kids. Some adults didn't like that. However, you'll find lots of single people there, people who are just there trying to hook up. Also, you're gonna find uh, lots of couples who are either on their honeymoon or just having a romantic getaway. So you're gonna find a big mix of folks there. So it's just not a kid's resort, it's not an adult resort, it's a lot in between. So far, I've said a lot of things I liked about the resorts. Now we're gonna get into some things that I really didn't like. And top of the list is the internet. The internet was the absolute worst. When it worked, it worked great. But for the most part, it was constantly flaking out to the point it just was, it was, it was nauseating. and it was the worst experience to be on a phone call and have the call just automatically drop or be playing a game and all of a sudden the game doesn't work anymore. The internet, if you need it to work, I can assure you, it probably will not. Another thing that wasn't necessarily the greatest about the hotel was the seating. As far as areas that you can sit down and relax. Now, if you want to be at the beach, lots of seating there. But also, there was a lots of seats that were clustered in and around the front lobby area. So if you want to sit and read a book, this is the smoking area that's kind of closed in here. It wasn't a lot of opportunity for you to do that outside of those areas. So I wish there was more areas that were just dedicated for sitting down, reading a book, and enjoying the time. This, in my opinion, was one of the best selling features of the hotel. You just saw the beach volleyball area earlier. This is the water sports center. And there are lots of things that you can do. For a $20 deposit, uh, just a deposit hold in case you lose it, you can get snorkel gear uh, and enjoy the water that's right there. Also, there is a sailboat and the sailboat, kayak, canoe, stand up paddleboard, all of that stuff is included in your cost of admission. None of this costs any more. I took that sailboat out almost every single day. They limited it to one hour, but really no one used it. So I pretty much had it to myself the entire time. It was absolutely fantastic. What you're looking at right there is the catamaran, and for about $50, it'll take you on a snorkeling adventure, uh, and it's not that far away from the hotel, so you're looking at maybe a 15-minute boat ride there and another 15-minute back, and then you're out there for maybe another two hours, so about a total of three hours that you're gone, and it is absolutely worth the trip. Uh, me and my son went there, and we had the time of our life. I really didn't think that there were this many um, you know, sea life out there, but in just a minute, you're going to see that there are literally hundreds 
hundreds and hundreds of fish. There's a coral reef that's not too far. And if you're not too familiar with diving, they, they, they'll you know walk with you the entire way to make sure that it's safe. And it was an absolute blast. You're gonna see images of coral reefs that are just absolutely spectacular and beautiful. This is not even the coral reefs. This is just outside the hotel. I went into the water and this is what I saw. Thousands of these little fish and it was just an absolutely breathtaking environment. Absolutely worth it. Now this is me on the kayak going out and I'm gonna take my GoPro, put underneath the water. You can see right there, just lots of, you know, you know, sea life underneath there. Beautiful, beautiful uh, beach environment. Now let's talk about the entertainment. I got mixed views in regards to the entertainment. The entertainers were absolutely fantastic, very friendly, personable. However, the entertainment sometimes was was really nice, off the chart, great. And at other times, not so much. If you like music, that's pretty much what you're gonna find, music and dancing. But it was also kind of fun and funny, but it's not necessarily, in my opinion, the best feature of the hotel. Now, we were there for a week, and after being there for a week, you're gonna wanna probably go somewhere else and check out the rest of the island. My best thing, you know, the best place in my opinion that you can go is gonna be Rick's Cafe. It's about maybe, I wanna say a 15 to 20 minute drive, and it's an absolutely happening environment. If you have young kids, probably not the best environment for them, but if you're an adult, especially if you're single, you wanna have a great time, this is gonna be your place to go. Also, beautiful sunset environment. Now, there is a salon at the hotel as well as a fitness center. I thought they were just okay. When it comes to figuring out what to do, this is going to be your best bet just because the internet on your phone will not work, but it tells you everything there is to do. Now, as far as excursion are concerned, there's lots of opportunities so you see much more things all across the island. And they have, if you wanna do it on your own, they have the taxi uh, fares right there. Um, but it's gonna be expensive if you do it, um, be honest with you. Now, when it comes to the hotel staff, I found it to be extremely personal. They'll teach you how to dance, they'll laugh and talk to you, they'll tell you about their personal life. You know, they're very, very entertaining, very fun. Not just the entertainers, but also just the wait staff, you know? You'll go there and you'll meet lifelong friends and they keep this hotel spick and clean. It's almost like every single um, thing was well done. The food was fantastic. It was extremely clean. A lot of focus and, and attention to make sure that people were safe and they were having a great time. There is much more to come, but if you've watched this far, you more than likely have enjoyed the content of my channel. I encourage you to please do one thing and that's simply to like. You don't have to subscribe, you don't have to follow me, but just simply just like the content and that will be a great way to support my channel. If you're there, you're more than likely going to want to buy a shirt or something to commemorate your visit and uh, give you an idea of the prices. They're very expensive in the store. For two shirts, you're going to spend $50 plus 8% tax. However, if you go right next to the hotel, you can buy stuff here from locals for a fraction of the cost. The hotel pretty much seems like it's open 24 hours a day. So this is the Rio at night. Night time is when they have their big shows or when they'll, you know, they'll have dinner and stuff like that. So this is kind of what the Rio looks like at night. At times, if you want, you can get your own private little uh, dinner, you know, on the beach. But for the most part, people ate in these huge cafeterias, which are all wheelchair accessible. So uh, if you have someone who's handicap bound, wheelchair bound, this resort is right for them. I've been to many resorts, not just in the Caribbean, but all over the world. And the question then becomes, is this resort worth your time and your money? And it's the resounding yes. I love the food. I love how clean it was. I love how everything was well thought out. The entertainment and internet could be better, but outside of that, you had a great time. I absolutely had a ball. My whole entire family loved it there. We would absolutely come back.